Hey YouTubers and Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. If you're joining us from our previous videos, part one and part two of the installation process of our GE reverse osmosis system, glad to have you. If you have not checked those out, those links will be down below in the comments section as well as the description section. Check those out and then come right back to this video because in this video, we're going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to properly and safely sanitize and purge the system before use. Let's get started. In the kitchen now and in the previous video, again, we installed this entire RO system and now it's time to sanitize this. This is very important and recommended immediately after installation of the RO system and anytime servicing inner parts. And make sure your hands are clean. And at that point, you want to complete the following steps to sanitize the system. Step number one, make sure that the water supply to the reverse osmosis system is off, meaning going down below and verifying that your cold water shutoff valve is in the off position and you can verify that by coming up verifying your water is off on to step number two open the reverse osmosis faucet if the tank is not already empty allow water to empty and as you can see our tank is completely empty step number three locate the included eyedropper and common household bleach Check this out, there it is. And let's go get our household bleach. All right, YouTubers, back with our Clorox bleach and I poured a little bit in a glass and on to step four. Add three milliliters of bleach into open end of yellow tube. Handle bleach according to bleach manufacturer's recommendations. Obviously, be careful when you're using this bleach. This little eyedropper I wanna show you. You have to add three milliliters. This little marking here is your one milliliter marking and this is to push in to create that suction out of your glass into your little eyedropper. So with that said, you'll have to do this three times and we need to insert it in the top portion of the yellow tube where it connects to the tank. So in the previous video, we did not connect this and that is why. So let's go down below. So at this point, I've got the hose in position and the eyedropper, I'll just slowly insert the end into the cup squeeze it and pull that bleach into the actual eyedropper. One little squeeze gives it one milliliter. Go ahead and insert that. Give it a couple squeezes. And do it a second time. And you may have bubbles like I do right here, but that's okay. And the third and final insert. From here, allow that bleach to go down far into the tube. Don't allow that bleach to rest in this little bend here because when you reinsert this tip to the tank, you don't want it spilling over. From here, carefully reinsert the yellow hose into the connection point and push down until it is firmly connected. At this point, the yellow hose is reconnected and I've got everything in position the way I want it. I've got all the tubing properly routed. And from here, we need to pressure test and purge the system to finalize the sanitation process. Back to the instruction manual. Just make sure you read this. Make sure you've properly completed the steps. And just know you do have an optional sanitation kit that you can purchase three additional cartridges that go inside the housing after removing the pre-filter membrane and post-filter. However, we are going to stick with the original sanitation option and move right to the pressure test and what we need to do complete the sanitizing procedure on the previous preceding page which we did now to pressure test the system complete the following steps step number one open the water supply valve to the reverse osmosis system and it's already open this is closed that is open step two purge air from the house plumbing by opening several house faucets close faucets when water runs smooth with no sputtering well that's easy let's go throughout the house and turn on faucets first thing i got to do is open the cold water supply line or shut off valve and once you do that you can hear a bunch of water flowing through your entire system back up top water coming on both hot and cold do the next faucet All right, you wanna run this until you don't hear any sputtering or any air coming out. And go ahead and turn off all the faucets. Back to the instruction manual and pressure will start to build in the RO system in about two hours. Check all fittings and connections. You wanna check for water leaks and fix these immediately. Water leaks are not good. Onto this note, when the system is first pressurized, water may spurt from the faucet air gap hole until air is expelled from the RO system. It may make a little bit of funny suction and spurting sounds, as you can kind of hear it, maybe. 
Back to the manual to purge this system, complete the following steps. Step number one, open the reverse osmosis faucet and let water flow through the system for a 24 hour period. Water flow will be a slow trickle at this time. No, do not consume water from the RO system until purging is complete. Obviously, you'll disrupt the process and you don't want to drink bleach, that would not be good. On to step two, close the reverse osmosis faucet after 24 hour purging period is complete. And step three, when the purging is finished, your reverse osmosis system is ready for use. So so do yourself a favor, wait that 24 hours. And then real quick to note, as with all other water system applications, leaks may occur. If you see any leaks, address them and fix them. And as you can see, you want to check all your fittings, your drain, your connection portions back here. You want to get to the back portion of your casing that houses your filters and membrane. Make sure you're not leaking from behind there and make sure your fitting on your pressure tank is not leaking. So right now it's 104 p.m. We'll see you in 24 hours. One thing you could do while you wait those 24 hours is get a brand new glass of fresh water and clean your eye drop. Get all that bleach out of it. Do this maybe 10 times. We officially have water coming out of the RO faucet and as you can see a slow trickle and that is exactly what it is supposed to be. So about 24 hours, we'll just kind of go through a little bit of water, no problem. That's a fair trade-off for really nice, clean water. All right, YouTubers, we're just a couple minutes away from our 24-hour clock expiring. Our faucet is still trickling and dripping, and I've got two of my favorite Father's Day gifts, YouTube mugs, got a TDS meter. During this last couple minutes, just become familiar with your final steps. And we are on step two. Close the reverse osmosis faucet after the 24 hour purging period is complete. And step three, when the purging is finished, your RO system is ready for use. And just be aware, it may take two to three hours for your system to fully pressurize and fill up. And I'm going to show you the difference in TDS readings from our main faucet water and our new RO water. And before I do the readings, on the backhand side, you will see this little chart. 0 to 50 is ideal drinking water for RO. 50 to 100, 100 to 200. And when you get above the 200, you've entered into that marginally acceptable range. And if you get 500 plus, yikes, your water is contaminated. Do not drink that. There it is, YouTubers, 24 hours to the minute. Back to the faucet. And before I turn this off, I'm going to fill this cup with the RO water. roughly a half full or just shy and I'll go ahead and close this and turn our faucet on fill this halfway from here you always want to test your cleaner water or your RO water first because these internal probes right here in the event that you test the harder water it may leave a little bit of dissolved solids on these probes and then you will get an inaccurate reading on your RO so the on off button there, it is zeroed out and in it goes and as you can see we are looking at five. That is incredible. And again, anything between zero and fifty is ideal for RO. And I want to re-zero it out and testing our faucet water. 221, that falls into the marginally acceptable water. So you can drink it but if you had the choice between marginally acceptable and ideal for RO, definitely go with that. Hopefully that helps YouTubers do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching. And again, it may take two to three hours for your system to properly fill and pressurize. And during that process, just check for leaks.